Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad. I'm the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. Thank you for joining me today. Today we continue our look at the book of Titus. Now let me warn you that in our passage today there will be some verses that will make you very uncomfortable and we'll talk a little bit about that after we read them. But I want to get to the deeper meaning of the passage also. So let's get to the reading today. But as for you, teach what is consistent with sound doctrine. Tell the older men to be temperate, serious, prudent, and sound in faith, in love, and in endurance. Likewise, tell the older women to be reverent in behavior, not to be slanderers or slaves to drink. They are to teach what is good, so that they may encourage the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be self-controlled, chaste, good managers of the household, kind, being submissive to their husbands so that the word of God may not be discredited. Likewise, urge the younger men to be self-controlled. Show yourself in all respects a model of good works and in your teaching show integrity, gravity, and sound speech that cannot be censured. Then any opponent will be put to shame, having nothing evil to say of us. Tell slaves to be submissive to their masters and to give satisfaction in every respect. They are not to talk back not to pilfer, but to show complete and perfect fidelity, so that in everything they may be an ornament to the doctrine of God our Savior. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Back in the first century, women and slaves were expected to submit to their husbands and to their masters. Now today, we know that slavery is wrong. Slavery is a sin. Slavery goes against what God intended. And also, we know that women are equal to men. They are not second class. They are not considered property. Thankfully, we see women as people. So I wanted to get that out of the way and let us now point to the main theme for today's passage. Show yourself in all respects a model of good works and in your teaching show integrity, gravity, and sound speech. This may come as a shock to you, but I have never been a model. Obviously, if you look at me, people may say, really, Pastor? You've never been a model? Hmm, I know, it's amazing, right? So not all of us are made to be models, but we can all be models when it comes to the way that God is talking about to us and that Paul writes about today. We can be models of good works, our actions, not just our words. How do we act in the real world? Do we show respect for one another? Do we love one another? Are we kind? Are we gentle? Because people are watching. People are watching what we do in the name of God. And it's important for us to be good models of the behavior that God has called us to be. In the time of the pandemic, we can get on each other's bad side very quickly. We can also be very quick to judge and to hurt. We need to be reminded that God expects better of us. And to do that, we have to go back to what does good works look like? Does it help your neighbor? Does it make the life of your neighbor, be they someone you like or not like, does it make their life better? You see, God, Jesus, would say we put others before us. You don't have to look any further for proof than the cross. The cross is where we see Jesus put us before his own needs. And that shows us that God puts us first. So to model good works, we put others first now and always. So thank you very much for listening today. I will see you tomorrow for another edition of God's Minute. You take care and God bless.